Yeah. Today, I'd like to demonstrate how to do the installation of the Equis uh, peep hole viewer, the door viewer, electronic device, which is actually fitting the same uh, procedure for A19 model and R21 model. Now, the R21 model, which is actually with the sensor, motion sensor, uh, this is where the uh, demonstration I'm going to begin with. You have to prepare a Phillips screwdriver, which is a cross one, just in case you do not know. And we, uh, this will actually illustrate a uh, demonstration of a door, a simulate a door. Now, for the requirement, the door peep hole here has to be a minimum of 14 mm to 50 mm. Now, if any size of this hole is less than 14 mm, you probably have to get a carpenter or anybody to drill it bigger. But it cannot exceed 50 mm because that gadget's peep hole electronic device is only 50 by 50 mm. Now again, if that does, does not meet to your requirement uh, and you have already purchased, the only solution is that you could actually uh, replace the door. Right? Uh, and then the second requirement is the thickness of the door. For this simulation, because this plywood is not uh, meet to the requirement, so I actually added on. Um, you can see that the thickness here is actually 40 mm. Okay? And the specification stated that the thickness minimum requirement is 35 mm to 110 mm. Now anything that is outside of this measurement, uh, there will be a problem with the screwing and tightening and so on unless you are able to get a screw. While, while we go through, you will get to understand why it is, has to be 35 mm uh, to 110 mm. Okay? Now, let me begin with unpacking the box. This is the R21 model. Okay. It comes with a user menu, which is in English. And as you turn on to the first page, exactly as what I mentioned, the peep hole diameter has to be 14 to 55 mm. And the door thickness has to be 35 mm to 110 mm. Okay. Now, just put this one aside. Then you have this front door viewer over here. This is the infrared, this is the camera, and this is the doorbell. And the motion sensor is already here. Okay. This is the screen monitor. Let me check it out. Okay, this is the screen monitor. Okay, it comes with about approximately 3 inch display with the control button. Okay. And the battery is actually uh, 3,500 mAh. ampere. It's really built in inside and you can actually get to charge right here on the micro USB. Okay. Next thing, I'll have to show you. You get to have a USB cable. Yeah. The USB cable meant for you to do the charging to the device. Now this battery device actually uh, can last approximately up to two weeks. It depends on how heavily usage you are. And you have a wall two pin plug and four screws. Now the difference of the screws, I'll come back to you with that short one. Okay, that's it. That's all the equipment, as I mentioned, the charger, the USB cable, four screw, the front viewer, and the back display and the user menu. Okay, let's begin. Now, depending on the door thickness, as I mentioned earlier, I need to clarify. There are four screw, the two long one, and the two short one. Usually for a long, a thicker door, uh, you can see that this screw is approximately 70 mm here. Meaning to say if your door is about 60, 50 to 60 mm thickness, you probably have to use the thicker screw, okay? Because you need this to secure directly into it, or rather this way, sorry. Okay? Now, for this door, it is merely 40 mm, we only need to use the two short one. Let's begin the installation. Foremost, for the first, firstly, uh, we use the, the front door viewer. You get to see there's a two little tiny hole here in between this, uh, the, the side of this cable, one here 
and one here. Bring your two short screw, screw it in as much as you can. And the other one here. Okay, I think it's about that. By the way, before I continue, I think I forgot there is one more bracket here. Okay, let's open up how does the bracket looks like. Here we go. This bracket is actually behind the door. Okay, let me show you how it works. You can see that there's a, an, an arrow pointing upward. So this is supposed to be the position. Okay, and there's two big holes and uh, narrowing down to the two smaller holes. Okay, and this is a horizontal or rectangular hole. It's for the cable to go through. So let's begin with the, let's continue the demonstration. First thing, we have to put this one right through the hole. Okay, right through the hole. Hang on. Okay, there you go. See that? Okay. Right through the hole. There you go. So imagine that the screw is actually still too long because it's supposed to be tightened to the wall, to the surface here. So we have to take it out again. Let's screw it more so to save up more time. This is a screwdriver. Okay. Here. You can see that the screw is now closer to the wall and this is why we have to now there is a double sided tape behind here so if you actually if you do not want to hold on to it what you can do is you should peel it on peel, peel the sticker off and uh, position it correct and upright you can stick it on okay so that you don't have to hold it both sides now for this case I just have to do it in this manner now uh, this is how it goes. Put the wire, do not entangle them. Put the wire through the rectangular hole. Okay. And then go right in. Now, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you put the two screw into the big hole here. There you go. And then just slide to the left. And that's lock it. Okay. The next thing you just have to do, you don't even have to hold the front. Okay, it's dangling, of course, because I have not sticked the double side tape. Then what you do is tighten the screw. So for the first, you tighten the first one. That's the best way. Tighten the top first one, or rather close tight. Then we 
we'll just tighten the bottom screw and then double tight the top screw that's it okay there you go there you are next the last final steps is basically to connect the wire now the wire is actually placed in this manner this is the screen and this is the plug here what you do is simply mount it and feel the catch and press it down until you hear a few clicks there you go there now with a little bit of strength to pull it's actually tightened okay so it is really secure so what you got to do is at the back here there's two four joints here the, the groove just have to slide in one two three four so these are the, the bottom two okay and this is the upper two so make sure you go right here and slide okay there you go okay and you can start powering up by powering up just press this one 